try dissolving about 50 milliliters of xylol into about 600 milliliters of uh, waste vegetable oil. We see uh, the swirling difference of uh, fluids, but it looks as though the xylol is going to dissolve right into the vegetable oil. I still see differences in the two fluids. I guess, and they're not really dissolving super readily. They may actually have the same specific gravity. There definitely is a differences. But my guess is, is they've dissolved into each other and it'll just take a few minutes uh, for the solution to, to uh, clear up. And what we'll do is we'll leave this overnight and see what happens. It's been about five minutes and the xylol and uh, waste vegetable oil uh, seem to have dissolved one into the other. So we can say that xylol is a successful blending agent for waste vegetable oil. This is about 600 milliliters of waste vegetable oil with uh, uh, xylol added to it and it took about uh, five minutes for the two fluids to become uniform. Agitation was not required to mix the two fluids and after a few days of settling the two fluids did not separate nor is there any indication of a uh, precipitate. This is about 600 milliliters of waste vegetable oil with uh, xylol added to it and now I'm going to add some gasoline to it to see if the three solutions will blend properly together. All right, we see the swirling of uh, solutions. I can actually see a, a minor uh, emulsion layer forming. And we'll just give it a few minutes to see if uh, the solutions dissolve into each other or whether uh, they don't. This is a sample of 600 milliliters of uh, waste vegetable oil uh, that has had xylol and gasoline added to it and the solution has become uniform so xylol should uh, function just fine as a solvent for turning waste vegetable oil into diesel fuel.